Hi guys, Micro here. This is my totally unique bossing series and we're on day 7 of week 2 and this will be the last day for now. Like I said, I'm going to be doing one of these unique bossing series week long events every single month. So tune in next month if you've enjoyed this week and do let me know in the comments down below what type of bosses you want to see next month and I'll start doing all that I can in preparation to get good at those bosses. Anyway, let's get into this video. Starting off the video with some necks, obviously trying to get as much done as possible to get as many uniques towards that title. I need to stop actually getting duplicates so I can get some more on the counter towards the 21 needed. We didn't actually get anything too amazing this hour, we did get two Onyx Bolt drops, other than that it was pretty straightforward and simple, no unique and rare drops here. The Onyx Bolts definitely carried this because they're nearly 6 mil alone. We had two Onyx Bolt drops and then the rest are all just, you know, the standard stuff. But this still works out to be in a 5 mil split each after instant cost is taken away. I'm still happy with 5 mil each. It was time for some masses and the first mass of today was Commander Zilliana on hard mode. Hard mode Zilliana is fairly difficult just because she's kind of annoying that you have to kill her with a special attack. You kill her once, she reses, you kill her again and you need to special attack her before the bar fills above her so she actually dies. All in all, she wasn't that bad of a boss though and she died so quickly with all of us here. Really nice to get the kill count up, plus people have the chance of getting their soul stones and maybe even a drop or two. Especially some war priests from the minions and stuff because the minions spawn really really quick. I got the soul stone. <laughs> so now when we're killing her, I'll start getting some KC for when I come back. Hey, I got a Sarah Domin sword. I'll take some free war priests from a minion. Now it was time for the good old faithful cow fight king mass. A lot of people who have come the other times this week have come again and everyone's getting better and better at not dying to bombs. Everyone's using protect from mage and devotion in at the right time. We did have a couple of deaths here and there but compared to the other times we've massed this boss there was barely any deaths at all. So well done everyone who showed up. I'm very very proud that there was so little deaths. Good job. Everyone's getting too good at it. Actually die please, I need content. Oh, what did we get? We got a Drygon Rapier, nice. Yeah, first one. Get some people, get some people. Oh my god, I got so many people, yeah boy. We managed to get two Drygors. Someone else also got a Drygor Mace and I've got the Rapier. These added up to 27.1 mil. There was 29 people that showed up for this mass, so every single person got a split of 930k, even though there was so many of us and only two Dragors, we all nearly got a mil each, which isn't bad at all. Looking at the Cow Fight King title, I got the two offhand maces and the rapier from the masses. I also got the perfect height in as well, so we're three out of eight already. The pet is probably going to be the thing that takes the longest. The dragons themselves aren't too rare. Once I get super close, I'll start duoing KK and then have the chance of getting that last item or two that I need. The next mass was Twin Furies. This was the last mass of today. I thought everyone would get loads and loads of seals, but apparently it only goes up to the top 5 DPS. So massing the Twin Furies wasn't quite as good as I expected, just because not everyone could get tons of seals. Everyone got KC towards the pet thresholds and stuff, but they didn't get actual seals. So I don't think I'll be massing God Wars Dungeon 2 anymore just because it seems a bit lackluster. It was fun either way and it was really cool to see how quick Twin Furies would actually die with this many people. I only need the main hand and the offhand blade for the Twins titles and I was getting half of the kills or so when doing this. And then obviously on one of the kills that I didn't get, one of my blades got sniped away and he thieved it off of me. But either way I have to come back here next boss in week to get the main hand and offhand blade. At reset, I popped off to just go loot Beastmaster, and guess what I got again? <laughs> back to back. <laughs> I went to go off and chill at Bandos for like two or three hours. While getting some kill count, I managed to get some Bandos Warpriest, which is always nice to see. Bandos is pretty chill. You can semi-AFK him. He's not quite as AFK as Kriara, but he's pretty damn chill. I just look back on my screen, use my thresholds, use Zerk if it's up or whatever, and then he's dead. I can then just look on my other screens, do what I need to do, and then come back and kill Bandos. 
He dies pretty fast. He has less HP than Krill, and Krill can do that really massive hit. Bandos doesn't really have as big of a hit, but he can still hit fairly hard. Don't really have to pay too much attention, though, so this will be my new AFK chill boss. I got nothing from the first hour of Bandos except for an effigy. So at least I got some free experience, but it doesn't tick anything off. So I went back and done a second hour. It was only right at the end of the second hour that I actually got something. I, it took me two hours to get a Bando's helmet. Ugh. Finishing off the day with another hour of next, hoping to get a unique or two. I hadn't had a unique in about three hours, so I was hoping really, really hard that this would give me a good unique. I did get a unique, whether it was good or not is debatable. Onyx bolts, not bad. Let's go get something good. <laughs> right. What I need to do is I need to check if I actually need that. Okay, I needed it. We're good. They're okay. Chop, 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 chop. Uh, Cole for the last one. Looking at the price check for the hour, unfortunately the gloves are only 2 mil, so we would have actually made more money if we got a second Onyx Bolt drop like the hour at the start of this video. Although it is a unique and it ticks it off my list so I can't really complain, I'm happy with them either way because I need to get them sometime. We still got 4.3 mil each, which isn't that bad. Obviously it's nowhere near as good as some hours you can get at next, but hey, you gotta take some bad hours sometimes. Looking at the next drop log now, with those gloves it's 13 out of 21 and we have 910 kills. This means we have two thresholds on the pet, so hopefully once we get around three thresholds the pet won't be too far after. The pet counts as one of the drops, so we need seven more actual drops from next and the pet. Let's see how long that takes, shall we? Either way, that's it for this video and this bossing week. Give the video a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new for loads of future content. I really, really appreciate all the amazing feedback you guys give me for every single bossing week, and I'll be making sure to do one next month. The masses are super fun, and I enjoy getting everyone involved the most. These bossing weeks are so awesome because it really gets the community together. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments, and until next time, see ya.